this but we're about to get going but first i'm going to go over the gear we're going to be using to try to catch these slabs as always we've got the acc crappie six we've actually got three different models on today i've got the six foot six inch one piece medium we've got a seven six we got an eight footer we got the whole spread and then on the business end of this guy and this is what we're mainly going to be throwing is a double jig rig on here i have two crappie magnets they're both a 30 second ounce jig heads we've got a pink one we've got a chartreuse one on the bottom, we've got our favorite color, which is Shona. This is just a staple. You can't go anywhere without this color. And then on top, we have a more brighter um, color. This is the Isom. It's kind of an orange and chartreuse. This water's fairly stained, so this one here might do most of the work for us today, but I've caught a ton of fish in dirty water with this one. And if both these jigs don't work, we got a whole tackle box full of different colors that we can try out, much different um, size jig heads. But this is what we're starting with. So we're gonna, focus our attention more up there closer to, to towards the spillway where the current's coming in just because we usually do better more in the current and uh, that's usually where the fish are going to be feeding at so we're going to pipe on a little bit closer to that wall start casting and see if we can't put some fish in the bucket um, if you're interested in checking out any of the gear we'll have it all linked down below we have our crappie magnet bundles we've got the acc crappie sticks but with that let's go up there and see if we can't find some fish There we go. Oh, what is that? White bass? It's like a white bass. That was the fastest I've ever got a fish out of the water, I think. <laughs> okay, there are some fish here below the dam this morning. I had a bite the previous two casts. It appears that they were, they might have all been yellow bass or white bass. They all bit the same. But there we go. Fish number one is a white bass. We're not getting skunked today. Um, he's not very big. If we catch him a little bit bigger, we might throw him in our bucket. But we're going to send him back. I think that's the first time I caught the first fish down here before the slab queen. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> fish on. That's a good bite. That's a big fish. I don't know what that is. Hope it's a big old crappie. Bit it like a crappie. He's kind of just wallowing. I have no idea. I can't see him. Be a big old crappie. It's big. It's big. It's probably a white bass. It's a white bass. He crunched it though. Look at him. He crunched it. Boom. He wasn't fine like a white bass, but I'll take it right there. Which I would expect. It's not weird that I'm catching a white bass up in that current. That's where you would feel like you would catch more white bass is in the faster stuff. But I um, haven't had any bites out here in the slack water. Just wanted to try to get something to bite. And he was all about it. It's a nice little white bass. Oh, oh, shoot. oh, Jay got smoked, it looked like. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send this white bass back. If that ends up being all we catch, we might keep some. Definitely want to take some of the home to eat tonight. I say if the next fish is a white bass and it's that big, he's going to go in the bucket. We'll get that whole thing situated. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, they're making me do it. They're gonna make me do it. They're gonna make me do it. Get up here. Another good white bass right there, guys. He popped that isom color crappie magnet. I think the last one bit the show enough. These two of my favorite colors for this spot. But he's gonna make me do it to him. I love white bass when they come out of this cold water. We're gonna get that bucket filled up. Actually, bring the bucket over here. We have it set up over here, but get him in there. See if we can't get a few more of these guys. There we go, another one. What is this? Is that another white bass? It's another white bass. Man, they're just right next to this wall. It's a bigger one. You throw it right next to that wall. Another one on that top crappie jig. I think I've caught two on the bottom and two on the top now. So they're not really favoring either one. I guess just whichever one comes in front of their face first. Hey, I didn't know we were gonna catch white bass today. Or this is gonna become a white bass mission, but I'm here for it. They're smoking it. You got one? I got one. Get him, JJ. That's, that's like a good one. Probably a big old white bass. <laughs> uh, definitely not fighting like a crappie. <laughs> Maybe I got two. Oh. Okay. I think it's one. It's hey, it's a nice one. He's whooping you a little bit. Me. Yes. 
about time the slap queen showed up. I know, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, it was getting a little awkward for me. <laughs> I'm not used to you out fishing me here. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's gonna be our third keeper one. of the day. And uh, you know, we came here for the crappie, but you know, we're really down for whatever. If you yeah. know anything about us, we're just here to catch fish and have a good time. And uh, these guys are gonna taste great tonight. And I'm sure at some point we're gonna find some crappie. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I hope this fish so good. I cannot get the hook out. Come on. Here we go. Oh, don't drop him, Jay. Whew. Beautiful white bass. All right, I'm getting started now. Watch out. Oh, he smoked it off that wall. I could feel my bait like crunching against the wall and he just came up and annihilated it. There's another white. Another white bass on the isome. They love that color. This is one of the colors you can find in our exclusive Cole and Jay crappie fishing bundles over at crappiemagnet.com. You can also find this one and four other of our favorites and um, that's a nice white bass. These baits get the job done everywhere that we go. We'll leave a link down in the video description for you guys to check them out if you're looking for some crappie jigs that catch some fish and that hold up. I mean, these baits have caught seven fish for me already this morning and they are still just holding up perfectly. Let's get another one. There he is, there he is. I got the hot hand today, baby. Oh, that's the biggest one so far too. These white bass are angry. Look at him. That's fun. These guys fight way harder than crappie, so I ain't even mad. That case just as good too. I just wasn't expecting it. We don't normally catch as many white bass down here. That's another beautiful one. <clears throat> I think we got lunch. Oh snap, another one. He went by the wall, he was just out here in front of me. It's another nice white bass. They are loving that orange and chartreuse. Hey, when it's your day, it's your day, Jay. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> this ain't cool. <laughs> she said it ain't cool. I gave her the good spot and everything. Crappie? Okay. Oh snap. Like oh snap. <laughs> I think I got two on there. Are you kidding me? I got I'm at least I got at least one good one. It feels bigger than anything I've caught today. What if there was two? How what if that was just one? Oh gosh, he's nice. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I never outfish Jay when we're at this spot. Never. Never, never, never. Now I know how it feels. We're just, I'm just putting on a clinic this now morning. I know how it feels. Makes me feel kind of bad for you every time. I know. I'll just be like, guys, what y'all don't see, sometimes we'll be over here and she's just slaying them. And it's usually crappie. Cast after cast after cast. And I'm just like over here scratching my head, not getting a bite for an hour. And she's done caught 15 no, or 20. Like, why, why I didn't and that's just like one of those things about fishing. It's It can be such a finicky thing. Like, we're basically doing the exact same thing. We have the same setup. We have the same leader size. We got the same jigs. I mean, the only difference I saw is that her white jig is on top and her chartreuse and orange one's on the bottom. But does that really make a difference? I don't know. Just hold your mouth just right here. Hold my mouth just right. I was good. Hey, what y'all also don't know is last night, I didn't get any sleep. I stayed up all night editing a video until like three o'clock in the morning, got up at six, came fishing, I'm surprised I'm still standing, but somehow, somehow we're making it. I think me being, I think me being a little bit sluggish might be the, uh, might be the move. As I'm reeling it so slow, I'm just creeping it. We got the same gear ratio reel. You'll get dialed. You'll get dialed, or you'll catch like a two-pound slab and make up for it. Because these, these are just white bass. These are just white bass, JJ. 
Oh snap. Right under her feet. Jay, they're right there. Oh no, he broke my jig. Oh, it didn't fall in, thank goodness. I honestly think that with this one, we've got plenty of white bass um, to keep and clean. We've got like seven or eight in there now. I don't want to have like 20 white bass to clean at the end of the day. So I think we're just going to stop keeping white bass from here on out. If we catch some crappie, you know where they're going. If we catch a catfish, he might go in there. But I think we're good on keeping the white bass. I got to get my jig. It's in a pretty sketchy spot. These rocks are really worn down really smooth and they're kind of slick. Jay and I have both fallen in here multiple times. Oh. And once you start falling, it's hard to get off, get up and off the ground in this thing, but we gotta save the jig. This one hasn't been doing that much work for me today, but um, it's definitely been an integral piece to the puzzle, I think. What's supposed to be cloudy today? It's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Maybe, maybe we need to put the orange one on your top jig. <laughs> Make a documentary. We'll call it, we'll call it The Current by the Wall. A white bass film. <laughs> How to catch a fish sometimes with coal. I'll tell you what it is, Jay. We spent all that time at the beach and I missed him. I had fun at the beach catching those fish, but I missed I missed these guys. That one there is so chunky. I said I wasn't gonna keep any more, but this one here is perfect. she comes. Okay. How you feeling? Um, a little defeated. <laughs> <laughs> I caught one fish and you caught like 15. Felt like. What's up with that? I don't know. It's just sometimes you have the hot hand. Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. We've already hit on this a little bit, but every time we come down here to this spot, she outfishes me and I'm always just like <laughs> scratching my head because I'll, I'll watch her like reeling mechanics and stuff and her cadence and I'm like, there's no way this girl should be catching fish right now. I'm like, she's reeling way too fast. She's popping it all crazy. I'm like, these are crappie. These ain't striper. And she just wears them out. Um, and that's, you know, that's something as anglers, we all have our own unique, you know, like stock cadence, our own stock reel retrieve. And some days, you know, it's kind of like when you go fishing with your buddy, some days, you know, one guy is going to be catching them more than the other. It just happens most of the time when she's down here, she outfishes me. But today, my little slow, just a little feathery, just twitchy little cadence was doing them dirty. Although whenever we swapped rods, I didn't get any more bites with her rod, but she only got one more bite with mine. So I don't know. It's weird. Fishing's weird and that's why we love it. It's always, it's always a mystery and you never really know how these fish are gonna behave. But all I can say is you look down here in the bucket, we've got food. We got food for days, JJ. Okay, thank and you. We've only been here for an hour and a half. Yeah, we have not been here for very long. <laughs> so. But I am not complaining. If anything, it was kind of hot that you were catching on. <laughs> awesome. I like that. But, um, am I blushing? I might be blushing a little bit. But anyways, what I was about to say is that we're going to make a move. You know, we could stay here and catch white bass all day long and it would be fun. And we're definitely, you know, not against catching white bass all day long, but we're going to go downstream just a little bit. There's some like old brush piles and we're going to see if some crappie are hanging out down there in that spot. And if that doesn't work out, we're going to actually relocate to a whole different body of water um, and see if we can't get on something there because there's a couple of spots around this area that have been fishing well recently and um, we've got plenty of time to go around and explore and so we figured why not do some hole jumping. But <laughs> anyways, I'm glad we've got some fish already secured in the bucket, but let's see if we can't find something else downstream. Well, our, um, our magnificent plans of spot jumping did not really uh, pan out the way we had hoped. We went downstream from the, from the first spillway and didn't get no bites. We weren't feeling that at all. So we went to our second spot and um, really nothing was going on there. I think it was just the time of day thing. It's really bright and sunny mm -hmm. and uh, middle of the day. 
And that's usually just not the best, uh, you know, time to go out and catch, you know, white bass and stripers and crappie below uh, the spillways. Even though we were catching them pretty good, or at least I was catching them pretty good yeah. at the first place. Um, I definitely only caught one. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the plan was to get a change of scenery so that Jay could get on some fish, but like I said, it just didn't work out. We ended up catching a striper and a and a spotted bass at the second spot we went, we went to, but it just really wasn't popping off. But luckily enough for us, we were able to uh, successfully bring home some nice white bass that we're going to cook up tonight for supper, and that was really um, the goal of today's mission in the first place. So let's show you guys our catch that we have all laid out here on the cleaning table. And I'm going to show you guys um, how you can get beautiful, perfect white bass fillets with an electric fillet knife. And then I'm going to show you guys how we're going to cook them up too. So it should be a good time this afternoon. So here is what we were left with. We've got nine beautiful, perfect eating sized white bass. They're all probably, you know, like a pound, pound and a quarter or so. So not monsters, but like I said, perfect for eating up. And we're going to clean them. With the electric fillet knife, this is the easiest way for us to get them cleaned up and get really pretty fillets. So we're going to demonstrate that for you all right now if you've never cleaned a white bass before. Kind of show you guys the steps we take to do it. And yeah, it's going to be fun. Sorry about it, Jimmy. And we're going to start off with this white bass here. We've got the electric fillet knife in hand. This is the 7 inch uh, blade. Normally I use the 9 inch, but I couldn't find it. So we're doing the 7 inch and luckily it fits these bass perfectly. But we're going to start off by making a cut behind the head, behind the pectoral fin. Just like you do any other fish. And then we're gonna follow that fillet all the way out to the tail, cut right through the ribs. Just follow the spine out. I like to stop right at the tail so I can flip it over and not worry about it all coming apart. But now I'm gonna take the fillet or the meat right off the skin. Here's what we have so far. It looks good. Let's go ahead and take the ribs out. I like to save as much meat as possible. So you see, I just kind of follow the bones out. And there's our filet, but there's one catch. White bass are notorious for having some red meat on the outside of their skin. You can leave that on if you like that kind of more fishy, kind of oily taste. Um, a lot of people do. We don't really like that that much, so we're just going to shave that off with the knife. You can use a regular hand knife, but we found that it's especially easy with an electric knife. So we're just going to just barely cut into the surface of the meat. Slice that right off. We got a little bit here. And then what we'll actually do with that middle bloodline is we'll just cut the filet in half. So there's one piece. And boom, there you are, there's your filet. The bloodline is out, we have no red meat on there. It's boneless and it's ready to go. We're actually gonna be deep frying these tonight too. So these perfect, two perfect pieces to deep fry. Put them here in the bowl. And that was just one side of the fish. We're gonna whip through the rest of them to the other side of this one, do all these other ones. It should take, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. And uh, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, let me see your face. Let me see. What you been eating? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Did you eat the whole bowl? You didn't save enough for anybody else. So, Hapris, you like the SpongeBob mac and cheese? Yeah. Is it your favorite? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's Summy. Hey, Summy Tummy. She said, I didn't get to eat no mac and cheese. Cypress didn't share. <laughs> And mom and dad aren't going to share the fish with you either. No. I don't think he'll be upset about that, though. <laughs> Cypress, you want to eat some fish? No. Yeah? What? No. You're still... I eat this mac and cheese. Oh, you want the mac and cheese? Yeah. Are you, are you sure you don't, you don't want to eat a bowl of fish? <laughs> oh. Dang. You don't know what you're missing out. This is full of protein. No. And that's full of cheese. And milk and noodles. And carbohydrates. And carbohydrates. <laughs> That's right. But hey, we are ready. Look at these fish. Look how they turned out. We got them all trimmed up. We got them all washed. They look perfect and ready to go. And we're just gonna be we're just gonna be frying them in the skillet here. I've got to fill it with some oil. I need to turn the stove on. I thought I had it on already. I need to start heating that up because I am so hungry I can't even think straight. 
And you know, when you have fish like this, um, that's a good problem to have when you're that hungry because yeah. it means that you can just sit down and just smash it. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to have with it yet. We we're going to have some mac and cheese. Um, but Cypress the Bear said, um, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mac and cheese monster. But uh, yeah, so we're going to, we're going to bread these guys up in some fish fry and we're going to get to work. All right, well, we're still waiting on the, uh, the oil to heat up. Jenny's over there feeding Summer some sweet potatoes. She looks like she's having fun, but while we're doing that, might as well get these fish all seasoned up, ready to rock and roll. Jack just made a comment. She's like, I don't know how you're still like able to make these all these catch and cook videos all the time because you just cook them the same way over and over again. I'm like, how else are you supposed to cook a fish? There's only like four different ways. You can fry it. You can cook it on a pan without deep frying it. You can grill it or you can like boil it. I don't know. If y'all got some recipe ideas or any sort of uh, methods in which you cook fish a little bit differently. Um, let me know, but pretty much. Oh, tapers are a little short. I didn't even see you sneak up. Uh, show them what you got. What you got? Play doh. Play doh. That's yeah. a lot of play doh. Yeah, what are you going to make with that? A fire. What? A fire. A fire? Yeah. You're going to make a big fire? You kind of You kind of stink. Kind of stink. I'm. I don't. I think that. I think that I'm gonna put you down. You kind of smell funny. But anyways, yeah. If y'all got any like recipes or any cool ideas for how we can cook fish in the future going forward, just so that y'all aren't seeing the same stuff over and over again, let me know. I think that most of y'all would agree that this is by far the best way to cook a fish. You wanna be a star? Yeah. Okay. You can be a star. I don't want to be a star. I just want to catch fish and cook them and eat them. I just want to fry them in my skillet. We've got a generous amount of those white bass fillets in the bag. Give them a good jostling. They're a little bit damp just from being in the bowl with the water. We could have went the extra mile and uh, and then soaked them in an egg wash or some milk or something, but we're going quick and dirty style today. And those look good. I'm thinking this definitely has to be hot by now, but let's make sure. Oh yeah, we're ready to cook. We're ready to sizzle. We're ready for some fine dining. White bass going in. There's that sizzle we've been looking for and we're looking forward to all day. It's honestly been a while since we had a strictly white bass. We've been, you know, eating a lot of crappie, been eating some catfish, some stripers, but white bass, those are gonna be good. This is more of like a spring treat for us, even though we catch them year round. But those babies are just cooking up so good. Also, we decided that we're gonna have some greens and some beans. Greens and beans and white bass of what for dinner tonight. Oh, snap, guys, look at this beautiful plate. We've got our beans and greens, and most importantly, the star of the dish, our white bass. They fried up perfect, they look so good. I can't wait, it's, it's, this plate is just screaming my name right now. Big Boss, you hungry? Or are you snoozing? Summy, are you gonna let us eat? Are you gonna let us eat? Cypress, are you gonna let us eat? We let y'all eat, now it's mine and mommy's turn to eat. Shoot, they ain't gonna let us eat. Oh, wipe out. Crashes up, up to no good again. No, I am really hungry. I'm yeah. also getting really sleepy. But I gotta eat. I'm yeah. Going. Now, I know you didn't catch a ton of fish today. <laughs> okay, why do you have to keep reminding me? <laughs> <laughs> but at least you get to reap the rewards. Yes, I do. Thanks, I... For, thanks for letting me go. <laughs> Cypress, we're trying to eat! <laughs> it's always a little chaotic here. Mm. That's good. That's really good. I did, a, I did a little taste test earlier. It, it is bomb. Bomb.com. Yeah. Super good. Mm, wow. I give it a 10 out of 10. Fresh white bass, trimmed of all red meat, mm. freshly fried. It's hard to beat. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. And we know the beans and greens are good. Oh, yeah. This, but, is, this is dang good. Thanks for catching it, Cole. Good job. That's probably the one you caught. It might be, but if, if, if it was just me... We would have only we would have been sharing one fish. I know. 
We we could have stuck it out there a little longer, probably. I feel bad. I feel bad. We we did the thing that you're not supposed to do. We left fish to try to find fish. Um, I don't know why we did that. <laughs> they thought the grass was greener across the state a little bit, but it wasn't. <laughs> where we where we were at was the hot spot for for white bass. And probably if we would have stuck it, we probably would have eventually hooked a crappie. But the crappie bite, non-existent there really, non-existent anywhere that we went today. And that's okay. We'll find them somewhere else. But we are going to kick back, relax. Enjoy this plate of fish and beans and greens and call it a day and hopefully get these kids to bed soon. Yeah, we're just going to kick back and relax. <laughs> yeah, we might get to relax. We got two kids on the move now. Yeah, we might get to, we might get to relax for, for five minutes. We might have to scarf it down. But anyways, thank you all so much for tuning into today's adventure. We had a lot of fun. We're going to go back out and fish there again soon, probably after it rains a little bit. But we'll definitely be going somewhere else soon to try to catch as many fish as we can so again thank you guys so much for watching today's episode if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more we're, we're calling jay. jay and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye guys